Hey guys, even here, the topic of this video, Flex Lewis at the Mr. Olympia Open Division. Now, since he accepted the special invite to compete in the Open, we can actually discuss his potential placement at this show. I mentioned him before and his potential placement at the Mr. Olympia. I said he might be in the top 6. I sat down, I did some thinking and some research, some comparing as well, and I realized he has a legitimate chance to win the show. And I'm not just saying this to hype things up, I genuinely believe this. I genuinely can see this happen. And I'm gonna explain this to you right now in this video, so let's go! This is the trio that would give him a lot of trouble. Somebody who came from 212 would have a really hard time beating these three guys. Now they are all quote unquote unofficially retired. Are they gonna come back? This is the photo that Sean uploaded several hours ago. So this is probably his recent physique update, he looks big, he looks full, he looks on point, he can come back, he can compete in the Mr. Olympia and probably win the thing, but it's all about the politics, whether his case gets resolved at a court before the Mr. Olympia. Which is probably not gonna happen, let's be real, these things take years. So I don't think we're gonna see Sean Roden at the 2020 Mr. Olympia. This is a recent photo of Kai Green. he's teasing us as usual, he says hell of an off season, never too old to scratch a niche. So apparently he's teasing us, basically telling us he's never too old to come and to win the Mr. Olympia or whatever. Does this mean anything? Absolutely not a goddamn thing. We're probably not gonna see Kai at the Mr. Olympia 2020. And as far as Phil Heath, this was his most recent physique update, he has a lot of them, he is absolutely enormous, I am pretty sure this guy didn't retire. I am as certain as I can be without him confirming this. But will he be at the Mr. Olympia? Now that the Mr. Olympia has been sold to different people, it may happen. The same thing goes for Kai, but most likely we will not see these guys at the 2020 Mr. Olympia. These three guys are different animals, especially Kai and Phil. Sean is just a little bit behind, he's a little bit smaller and undeveloped. Yeah, he somehow managed to beat Phil, but that's because Phil's stomach was out of control. He is not as big as him. He doesn't really have the size, nor the complete development, but here is him standing next to Flex Lewis. You may even say that Flex is even more complete. He does have very good triceps, very good arms overall, he has the back, he has the legs, he has everything, but he's just not as thick. And when Sean comes in shape and he comes conditioned, even if he's a little bit off, he would still make Flex look a little bit less impressive than what he looks when he's standing alone or compared to the other two 12 guys. What about now? What about this photo, where Flex got the angle? So you can see that as far as development, Flex is probably better, but he's just not as big. And this was back when he was 212. We're gonna see him bigger at the 2020 Mr. Olympia. So he's gonna be much bigger than he was here, and that's gonna look much better when he's fuller, when he doesn't have to deplete himself so much before the show. Is that still going to be enough to beat guys like Sean Roden, or Phil Heath or Kai Green? Probably not. But look, the top 5 of the 2019 Mr. Olympia were all super short guys. I don't think Mr. Olympia was ever consisted of shorter guys. I don't think it ever happened, really. So the possibility of Flex actually entering here and not being dwarfed is extremely high. We are not considering Big Ram, we're gonna mention him in a moment. But as for now, let's focus on these guys right here. Why? Because they are the last year's Mr. Olympia lineup and we know that they're gonna be here most likely again, all of them, yeah. Have you ever seen this photo right here? Flex Lewis and Rolly Winkler. Rolly Winkler was third at the Mr. Olympia 2018 and he was one of the favorites to win the 2019 Mr. Olympia had he not been as fat or whatever watery at the Mr. Olympia, he could have won the show. Here he's standing next to this guy, the height is pretty much similar and uh, yeah, Flex got the angle but the size is almost the same basically, there isn't a huge difference. They're both big, muscular, jacked guys, right? Have you seen this one though? A little bit older photo, they were both younger, but the difference wasn't that huge, right? It could have went either way, especially from the back, we cannot see them from the back, but Flex has an impressive back, let me tell you that much. And he's always peeled from behind, but really, eh, not so much, right? There is this photo as well, and here you can see Tony, the X-Men Freeman, standing next to Flex Lewis, absolutely dwarfing him. 
And this guy was active in at his prime back when taller guys were really dominating. Now you have guys like Rolly Winkler right here and Flex Lewis dominating the Mr. Olympia top lineups. So shorter guys are winning now, and that's the case. So Flex won't really have as much trouble because of his height, right? And I don't know about you, but I noticed that Flex in his offseason looks significantly bigger than what he looks on stage. And you cannot see a lot of fat or water, it's just, I think, the muscle. And, you know, muscle is 80% water, right? So he loses a lot of that muscle density right before the show, just to cut the weight. So now, with all the freedom that he has, without a weight cap, we are gonna see this guy flourish, absolutely flourish in the division, in the new division, the Open, and that is the division for him. And there is no better timing for him, and he took two years off, he shouldn't have done that. He could have competed 2019 and really placed well. Many, many people had Hadi Chopin winning the 2019 Mr. Olympia, the Open division, and this guy is also a former 212 competitor. He collided against Flex Lewis at a couple of shows and was never able to beat him. Now, yeah, this is, this is Hadi in 212. Of course, it's not at his best. It's not at his prime as he was in 2019 at the Vancouver Pro at the Mr. Olympia too. But he still wasn't able to beat Flex Lewis, who is also restricted in weight, just like Hadi was. Based on this photo right here, you would say that he was robbed, that he was bigger than Flex. But what about now? Huh? What about now? Here you can see why. Here you can see why Flex won. He absolutely deserved it. The shoulders, you may even say that Hadi has better shoulders, but the development, the lower back development, the conditioning of the glutes, of the hamstrings, of the back overall, it's just flex. It's just flex, especially the lower back. I mean, the lats are just really, really good on him. And that's what's gonna help him win any show. In 2017, San Marino Pro happened. Hadi came from 212 and competed in the Open. He only didn't beat Cedric. Barely, barely. Cedric beat him and won the show, and Brandon Curry, our current Mr. Olympia, was third place, beaten by the guy who wasn't able to beat Flex Lewis at a time. Obviously, this was about three years ago, and uh, Brandon Curry made one of the biggest transformations of all time. He absolutely transformed his body, he came much bigger in 2019, and he became the Mr. Olympia. So, it's not gonna be as easy as it would be in 2017, probably. But hey man, Flex is doing some growing as we speak, as he was told to do by who? Dexter Jackson, if you remember, a year or two ago. There was this whole drama about this at the Nick Strength and Power YouTube channel. These guys went back and forth. Nick ended up getting blocked, and uh, that's what was basically expected from Dexter Jackson. He's very proud, man. He's very proud. I mean, he's one of the best bodybuilders in the history of the world. So, if anybody has the right to be that way, that's him in the bodybuilding world. But, you know, that's him. And he said that Flex is too small for the open guys. Is that really the truth? If this was 2015, I would round up that hard to beat trio to a quadriology or tetralogy or quartet based on Google. But hey, it's 2020. It's been five years since Dexter was second at the Mr. Olympia after Phil Heath, which was a huge achievement. And now he is not even bigger than Harry Chopin, who was uh, not able to beat Flex in 212. Now, of course, Hari is much bigger, as I said before, but Flex is going to be bigger as well. Now, we come to William Bonek. William Bonek started as a 212 guy as well. The only thing that William has on Flex is chest and, of course, overall mass. Let's assume that Flex is going to come 15 pounds bigger. He's gonna be in a ballpark with uh, William, as far as the size. What William is probably gonna have on Flex is chest. His chest is thicker. Yeah, these guys were on the same stage together. If you didn't know, don't be worried. I didn't know about this until I did this video. It was obviously at the Prague Pro 2012, way back, way back in 2012. And uh, as you can see, the difference is the structure. So Flex has much nicer, much prettier, much better overall structure. It's just gonna be the size. William Bonnet grew. But is Flex going to grow? in these two years that he took off. And not only that he's going to grow, 
but he won't have to cut the weight. He won't have to do any drastic measures to lose 10, 15, 20 pounds in a matter of days. He can be relaxed and calm at his best without cortisol levels super high because of all the stress, because of having to cut the weight and because of the, 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 the diuretic usage and who knows what the hell these guys are doing, what their protocols are looking like. Without having to do all that BS, he is going to look fresh, he is going to look amazing. And I can't wait to see Mr. Olympia 2020, it's going to be absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to cover it. I'm getting new equipment, it's going to be much better coverage on my channel. And I'm getting anxious about it already, I'm having dreams of it happening and myself being late to, to make coverage. So guys, subscribe, support me, you're gonna see a lot of great content by then. And now, let's do the last bodybuilder that I wanted to compare Flex with, and that's the big guy himself, Big Ramy. And I'm gonna be quick and clear with this one. Big Ramy, if he brings the conditioning, none of these small guys can beat him. In 2018, many of them did. Brandon Curry, not even at his best. William Bonek, look at William here, standing next to Big Ramy. He looks like a dwarf standing next to him, literally. But yay, size isn't everything. The conditioning is what wins the shows, and if Big Ramy doesn't bring it, he is gonna have trouble again. What about the other guys, you're wondering? Well, there is a little bit too many of them, and I don't have the whole day. I have a life, man, give me a break. But what I do recommend is go to Fernando Arroyo Instagram page and you will find all the bodybuilders compared to Flex Lewis. And you're gonna see all the poses, the height ratio is also pretty good, and uh, you also could have voted. There, is, there was a voting poll yesterday, but I wasn't able to make a video in time, so I'm sorry, Fernando, I'm very sorry, but maybe he's gonna post it again, but you can go and you can check what these guys look like, and you need to subscribe, you need to uh, actually follow this page on Instagram, the best comparisons ever, I enjoy the page so much, and this guy helped me when I first started with my YouTube channel, I'm grateful for that, forever. Also, go to my Instagram page, even bodybuilding underscore, and help brother out, tell me, what do you think, should I do vacuum or no vacuum in my upcoming show? Also, give me a follow, follow me for my prep and uh, support me if you want, I would really be grateful for that. Let's summarize this, if Flex Lewis comes 10, 15, maybe even 20 pounds bigger, at a Mr. Olympia 2020, without Phil Heath, Sean Roden and Kai Green, can he win the damn thing? I think he absolutely can. If the big three comes in, or any one of them, it's going to be hard, but I still think there is a possibility if they come slightly off. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section, like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more bodybuilding videos like this. All the best guys and bye bye.